Surah 53 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 53, the star, an enigma revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the star when it goes down. Your companion does not err, nor does he go astray, nor does he speak out of desire. It is naught but revelation that is revealed. The Lord of mighty power has taught him. The Lord of strength, so he attained completion, and he is in the highest part of the horizon. Then he drew near, then he bowed, so he was the measure of two bows, or closer still. And he revealed to his servant what he revealed. The heart was not untrue in making him see what he saw. What do you then dispute with him as to what he saw? And certainly he saw him in another descent, at the farthest Luti tree, near which is the garden, the place to be resorted to, when that which covers covered the Luti tree. The eye did not turn aside, nor did it exceed the limit. Certainly he saw of the greatest signs of his Lord. Have you then considered the Lat and the Uzza, and Manat the third, the last? What, for you the males, and for him the females? This indeed is an unjust division. They are not but names which you have named, you and your fathers. Allah has not sent for them any authority. They follow not but conjecture and the low desires which their souls incline to. And certainly the guidance has come to them from their Lord. Or shall man have what he wishes? Nay, for Allah is the hereafter and the former life. And how many an angel is there in the heavens, whose intercession does not avail at all, except after Allah has given permission to whom he pleases and chooses. Most surely they who do not believe in the hereafter name the angels with female names, and they have no knowledge of it. They do not follow anything but conjecture, and surely conjecture does not avail against the truth at all. Therefore, turn aside from him who turns his back upon our reminder and does not desire anything but this world's life. That is the goal of knowledge. Surely your Lord knows best him who goes astray from his path and he knows best him who follows the right direction. And Allah's is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, that he may reward those who do evil according to what they do, and that he may reward those who do good with goodness, those who keep aloof from the great sins and the indecencies, but the passing idea. Surely your Lord is liberal in forgiving. He knows you best when he brings you forth from the earth and when you are embryos in the wombs of your mothers. Therefore, do not attribute purity to your souls. He knows him best who guards against evil. Have you then seen him who turns his back? 
and gives a little and then withholds, has he the knowledge of the unseen so that he can see? Or has he not been informed of what is in the scriptures of Musa and of Ibrahim, who fulfilled the commandments that no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another, and that man shall have nothing but what he strives for, and that his striving shall soon be seen, then shall he be rewarded for it with the fullest reward. And that to your Lord is the goal, and that he it is who makes men laugh and makes them weep, and that he it is who causes death and gives life, and that he created pearls, the male and the female, from the small seed when it is adapted, and that on him is the bringing forth a second time, and that he it is who enriches and gives to hold, and that he is the Lord of the serious, and that he did destroy the Ad of old and Samud, so he spared not. And the people of Nuh before, surely they were most unjust and inordinate. And the overthrown cities did he overthrow. So there covered them that which covered which of your Lord's benefits will you then dispute about? This is a warner of the warners of old. The near event draws nigh. There shall be none besides Allah to remove it. Do you then wonder at this announcement? And will you laugh and not weep? while you are indulging in varieties. So make obeisance to Allah and serve Him. End of Surah 53 Surah 54 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 54, The Moon, Al-Qamar, Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. The hour drew nigh, and the moon did rend asunder. And if they see a miracle, they turn aside and say transient magic. And they call it a lie, and follow their low desires, and every affair has its appointed term. And certainly some narratives have come to them, wherein is prevention. Consummate wisdom, but warnings do not avail. So turn your back on them, for the day when the inviter shall invite them to a hard task. Their eyes cast down, going forth from their graves, as if they were scattered locusts. Hastening to the inviter, the unbelievers shall say, This is a hard day. Before them, the people of Nuh rejected, so they rejected our servant and called him mad, and he was driven away. Therefore he called upon his Lord, I am overcome. Come thou then to help. So we opened the gates of the cloud with water pouring, and we made water to flow forth in the land in springs, so the water gathered together according to a measure already ordained. And we bore him on that which was made of planks and nails, sailing before our eyes, a reward for him 
who was denied. And certainly we left it as a sign. But is there anyone who will mind? How great was then my punishment and my warning. And certainly we have made the Quran easy for remembrance. But is there anyone who will mind? Ad treated the truth as a lie. So how great was my punishment and my warning? Surely we sent on them a tornado in a day of bitter ill luck, tearing men away as if they were the trunks of palm trees torn up. How great was then my punishment and my warning. And certainly we have made the Quran easy for remembrance. But is there anyone who will mind? Samud rejected the warning. So they said, what a single mortal from among us. Shall we follow him? Most surely we shall in that case be in sure error and distress. Has the reminder been made to light upon him from among us? Nay, he is an insolent liar. Tomorrow shall they know who is the liar, the insolent one. Surely we are going to send the she-camel as a trial for them. Therefore watch them and have patience and inform them that the water is shared between them. Every share of the water shall be regulated. But they called their companion, so he took the sword and slew her. How great was then my punishment and my warning. Surely we sent upon them a single cry. So they were like the dry fragments of trees which the maker of an enclosure collects. And certainly we have made the Quran easy for remembrance. But is there anyone who will mind? The people of Lut treated the warning as a lie. Surely we sent upon them a stone storm, except Lut's followers. We saved them a little before daybreak. A favor from us, thus do we reward him who gives thanks. And certainly he warned them of our violent seizure, but they obstinately disputed the warning. And certainly they endeavored to turn him from his guests. But we blinded their eyes, so taste my chastisement and my warning. And certainly a lasting chastisement overtook them in the morning. So taste my chastisement and my warning. And certainly we have made the Quran easy for remembrance. But is there anyone who will mind? And certainly the warning came to Pharaoh's people. They rejected all our communications. So we overtook them after the manner of a mighty, powerful one. Are the unbelievers of yours better than these? Or is there an exemption for you in the scriptures? Or do they say, we are a host allied together to help each other. Soon shall the hosts be routed and they shall turn their backs. Nay, the hour is their promised time and the hour shall be most grievous and bitter. Surely the guilty are in error and distress on the day when they shall be dragged upon their faces into the fire. Taste the touch of hell. Surely we have created everything according to a measure. And our command is but one, as the twinkling of an eye, 
and certainly we have already destroyed the likes of you, but is there anyone who will mind? And everything they have done is in the writings. And everything small and great is written down. Surely those who guard against evil shall be in gardens and rivers, in the seat of honor with the most powerful king. End of Surah 54 Surah 55 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 55, The Beneficent, Ar-Rahman, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. The beneficent Allah taught the Quran. He created man, taught him the mode of expression, the sun and the moon follow a reckoning, and the herbs and the trees do prostrate to him. And the heaven, he raised it high, and he made the balance, that you may not be inordinate in respect of the measure, and keep up the balance with equity, and do not make the measure deficient. And the earth, he has set it for living creatures. Therein is fruit and palms having cheese clusters. And the grain with its husk and fragrance, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny. He created man from dry clay like earthen vessels. And he created the jinn of a flame of fire, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny, Lord of the East and Lord of the West, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? He has made the two seas to flow freely so that they meet together. Between them is a barrier which they cannot pass. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? There come forth from them pearls, both large and small. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? And his are the ships reared aloft in the sea like mountains, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Everyone on it must pass away, and there will endure forever the person of your Lord, the Lord of glory and honor, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? All those who are in the heavens and the earth ask of him. Every moment he is in a state of glory. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Soon will we apply ourselves to you, O you two armies. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? O assembly of the jinn and the men, if you are able to pass through the regions of the heavens and the earth, then pass through. You cannot pass through but with authority. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? The flames of fire and smoke will be sent on you too, then you will not be able to defend yourselves. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? And when the heaven is rent asunder and then becomes red like red hide, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? 
So on that day, neither man nor jinni shall be asked about his sin, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? The guilty shall be recognized by their marks, so they shall be seized by the four locks and the feet, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? This is the hell which the guilty called a lie. Round about shall they go between it and hot boiling water, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? And for him who fears to stand before his Lord are two gardens, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? having in them various kinds, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In both of them are two fountains flowing, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In both of them are two pairs of every fruit, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny. Reclining on beds, the inner coverings of which are of silk brocade, and the fruits of the two gardens shall be within reach. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In them shall be those who restrained their eyes before them, neither man nor jinn shall have touched them. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? As though they were rubies and pearls, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Is the reward of goodness aught but goodness? Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? And besides these two are two other gardens. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Both inclining to blackness. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In both of them are two springs gushing forth, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In both are fruits and palms and pomegranates, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In them are goodly things, beautiful ones, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Pure ones confined to the pavilions. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Man has not touched them before them nor jinn. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Reclining on green cushions and beautiful carpets, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Blessed be the name of your Lord, the Lord of glory and honor. End of Surah 55 Surah 56 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 56, the event, al waqia ah, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, when the great event comes to pass, there is no belying its coming to pass, abasing one party, exalting the other. When the earth shall be shaken with a severe shaking, 
and the mountains shall be made to crumble with an awful crumbling, so that they shall be as scattered dust, and you shall be three sorts. Then as to the companions of the right hand, how happy are the companions of the right hand. And as to the companions of the left hand, how wretched are the companions of the left hand, and the foremost are the foremost. These are they who are drawn nigh to Allah in the gardens of bliss, a numerous company from among the first, and a few from among the latter, on thrones decorated, reclining on them, facing one another. Round about them shall go youth, never altering in age, with goblets and ewers and a cup of pure drink. They shall not be affected with headache thereby, nor shall they get exhausted, and fruits such as they choose, and the flesh of fowl such as they desire, and pure beautiful ones, the like of the hidden pearls, a reward for what they used to do. They shall not hear therein vain or sinful discourse, except the word peace, peace, and the companions of the right hand, how happy are the companions of the right hand, amid thornless looty trees and banana trees with fruits, one above another, and extended shade, and water flowing constantly, and abundant fruit, neither intercepted nor forbidden, and exalted thrones. Surely we have made them to grow into a new growth. Then we have made them virgins, loving equals in age. For the sake of the companions of the right hand, a numerous company from among the first and a numerous company from among the lost, and those of the left hand, how wretched are those of the left hand, in hot wind and boiling water, and the shade of black smoke, neither cool nor honorable. Surely they were before that made to live in ease and plenty, and they persisted in the great violation, and they used to say, What? When we die and have become dust and bones, shall we then indeed be raised? Or our fathers of yore? Say the first and the last shall most surely be gathered together for the appointed hour of an own day. Then shall you, O you who err and call it a lie, most surely eat of a tree of zakum, and fill your bellies with it, then drink over it of boiling water, and drink as drinks the thirsty camel. This is their entertainment on the day of requital. We have created you. Why do you not then assent? Have you considered the seed? Is it you that create it, or are we the creators? We have ordained death among you, and we are not to be overcome, in order that we may bring in your place the likes of you, and make you grow into what you know not. And certainly you know the first growth. Why do you not then mind? Have you considered what you saw? Is it you that cause it to grow? Or are we the causers of growth? If we pleased, we should have certainly made it broken down into pieces. Then would you begin to lament? 
Surely we are burdened with debt. Nay, we are deprived. Have you considered the water which you drink? Is it you that send it down from the clouds, or are we the senders? If we pleased, we would have made it salty. Why do you not then give thanks? Have you considered the fire which you strike? Is it you that produce the trees for it, or are we the producers? We have made it a reminder and an advantage for the wayfarers of the desert. Therefore, glorify the name of your Lord, the Great. But nay, I swear by the falling of stars, and most surely it is a very great oath, if you only knew. Most surely it is an honored Quran. In a book that is protected, none shall touch it save the purified ones. A revelation by the Lord of the worlds. Do you then hold this announcement in contempt? And to give it the lie, you make your means of subsistence. Why is it not then that when its soul comes up to the throat, and you at that time look on, and we are nearer to it than you, but you do not see. Then why is it not, if you are not held under authority, that you send it not back if you are truthful? Then if he is one of those drawn nigh to Allah, then happiness and bounty and the garden of bliss. And if he is one of those on the right hand, then peace to you from those on the right hand. And if he is one of the rejecters, the erring ones, he shall have an entertainment of boiling water and burning in hell. Most surely this is a certain truth. Therefore, glorify the name of your Lord, the Great. End of Surah 56
and indeed he has made a covenant with you if you are believers. He it is who sends down clear communications upon his servant that he may bring you forth from utter darkness into light. And most surely Allah is kind, merciful to you. And what reason have you that you should not spend in Allah's way? And Allah's is the inheritance of the heavens and the earth. Not alike among you are those who spent before the victory and fought, and those who did not. They are more exalted in rank than those who spent and fought afterwards. And Allah has promised good to all, and Allah is aware of what you do. Who is there that will offer to Allah a good gift, so he will double it for him, and he shall have an excellent reward? On that day you will see the faithful men and the faithful women, their light running before them and on their right hand. Good news for you today. Gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide therein, that is the grand achievement. On the day when the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women will say to those who believe, wait for us that we may have light from your light, it shall be said, turn back and seek a light. Then separation would be brought about between them, with a wall having a door in it. As for the inside of it, there shall be mercy in it. And as for the outside of it, before it there shall be punishment. They will cry out to them, Were we not with you? They shall say, Yea, but you caused yourself to fall into temptation, and you waited and doubted, and vain desires deceived you, till the threatened punishment of Allah came, while the arch deceiver deceived you about Allah. So today ransom shall not be accepted from you, nor from those who disbelieved. Your abode is the fire, it is your friend, and evil is the resort. Has not the time yet come for those who believe that their hearts should be humble for the remembrance of Allah and what has come down of the truth, and that they should not be like those who were given the book before, but the time became prolonged to them, so their hearts hardened, and most of them are transgressors. Know that Allah gives life to the earth after its death. Indeed, we have made the communications clear to you that you may understand. Surely as for the charitable men and the charitable women and those who set apart for Allah a goodly portion, it shall be doubled for them and they shall have a noble reward. And as for those who believe in Allah and his messengers, these it is that are the truthful and the faithful ones. In the sight of their Lord, they shall have their reward and their light. And as for those who disbelieve and reject our communications, these are the inmates of the hell. Know that this world's life is only sport and play, and gaiety and boasting among yourselves, and avying in the multiplication of wealth and children, like the rain who is causing the vegetation to grow, pleases the husbandman, then it withers away so that you will see it become yellow. Then it becomes dried up and broken down. And in the hereafter is a severe chastisement and also forgiveness from Allah and his pleasure. And this word's life is not but means of deception. Hasten to forgiveness from your Lord and to a garden the extensiveness of which is as the extensiveness of the heaven and the earth.
It is prepared for those who believe in Allah and his messengers. That is the grace of Allah. He gives it to whom he pleases, and Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. No evil befalls on the earth nor in your own souls, but it is in a book before we bring it into existence. Surely that is easy to Allah. So that you may not grieve for what has escaped you, nor be exultant at what he has given you. And Allah does not love any arrogant boaster. Those who are niggardly and enjoin niggardliness on men, and whoever turns back, then surely Allah is he who is the self-sufficient, the praised. Certainly we sent our messengers with clear arguments and sent down with them the book and the balance, that men may conduct themselves with equity, and we have made the ayr, wherein is great violence and advantages to men, and that Allah may know who helps him and his messengers in the secret. Surely Allah is a strong mighty. And certainly we sent Nuh and Ibrahim, and we gave to their offspring the gift of prophecy and the book. So there are among them those who go aright, and most of them are transgressors. Then we made our messengers to follow in their footsteps, and we sent Isa, son of Maryam, afterwards, and we gave him the Injil, and we put in the hearts of those who followed him kindness and mercy. And as for Moncri, they innovated it. We did not prescribe it to them, only to seek Allah's pleasure, but they did not observe it with its due observance. So we gave to those of them who believed their reward, and most of them are transgressors. O you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah, and believe in his messenger. He will give you two portions of his mercy, and make for you a light with which you will walk and forgive you, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. So that the followers of the book may know that they do not control aught of the grace of Allah, and the grace is in Allah's hand. He gives it to whom he pleases, and Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. End of Surah 57. Surah 58 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 58, The Pleading Woman, al mujadila revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Allah indeed knows the plea of her who pleads with you about her husband and complains to Allah. And Allah knows the contentions of both of you. Surely Allah is hearing, seeing. As for those of you who put away their wives by likening their backs to the backs of their mothers, they are not their mothers. Their mothers are no others than those who gave them birth, and most surely they utter a hateful word and a falsehood, and most surely Allah is pardoning, forgiving. And as for those who put away their wives by likening their backs to the backs of their mothers, then would recall what they said. They should free a captive before they touch each other. To that you are admonished to conform, and Allah is aware of what you do. But whoever has not the means, let him fast for two months successively 
before they touch each other. Then as for him who is not able, let him feed sixty needy ones. That is in order that you may have faith in Allah and his messenger. And these are Allah's limits. And the unbelievers shall have a painful punishment. Surely those who act in opposition to Allah and his messenger shall be laid down prostrate as those before them were laid down prostrate and indeed we have revealed the clear communications and the unbelievers shall have an amazing chastisement. On the day when Allah will raise them up all together then inform them of what they did. Allah has recorded it while they have forgotten it, and Allah is a witness of all things. Do you not see that Allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth? Nowhere is there a secret counsel between three persons, but he is the force of them, nor between five but he is the thickest of them, nor less than that, nor more, but he is with them wheresoever they are. Then he will inform them of what they did on the day of resurrection. Surely Allah is cognizant of all things. Have you not seen those who are forbidden secret counsels? Then they return to what they are forbidden, and they hold secret counsels for sin and revolt and disobedience to the messenger. And when they come to you, they greet you with a greeting with which Allah doesn't greet you. And they say in themselves, Why does not Allah punish us for what we say? Hell is enough for them. They shall enter it and evil is the resort. O you who believe, when you confer together in private, do not give to each other counsel of sin and revolt and disobedience to the messenger and give to each other counsel of goodness and guarding against evil and be careful of your duty to Allah to whom you shall be gathered together. Secret counsels are only the work of the shaitan that he may cause to grieve those who believe and he cannot hurt them in the least except with Allah's permission and on Allah let the believers rely. O you who believe when it is said to you make room in your assemblies then make ample room Allah will give you ample and when it is said, rise up, then rise up, Allah will exalt those of you who believe. And those who are given knowledge in high degrees, and Allah is aware of what you do. O you who believe, when you consult the messenger, then offer something in charity before your consultation. That is better for you and purer. But if you don't find, then surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Do you fear that you will not be able to give in charity before your consultation? So when you do not do it and Allah has turned to you mercifully, then keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and obey Allah and his messenger. And Allah is aware of what you do. Have you not seen those who befriend a people with whom Allah is wrath? They are neither of you nor of them, and they swear falsely while they know. Allah has prepared for them a severe punishment. Surely what they do is evil. They make their oath to serve as a cover so they turn away from Allah's way. Therefore, they shall have an amazing chastisement. Neither their wealth nor their children shall avail them aught against Allah. They are the inmates of the fire.
wherein they shall abide on the day that Allah will raise them up all. Then they will swear to him as they swear to you, and they think that they have something. Now surely they are the liars. The shaitan has gained the mastery over them, so he has made them forget the remembrance of Allah. They are the shaitan's party. Now surely the shaitan's party are the losers. Surely as for those who are in opposition to Allah and his messenger, they shall be among the most abased. Allah has written down, I will most certainly prevail. I and my messengers, surely Allah is strong, mighty. You shall not find a people who believe in Allah and the latter day befriending those who act in opposition to Allah and his messenger, even though they were their own fathers or their sons or their brothers or their kinsfolk. These are they into whose hearts he has impressed faith and whom he has strengthened with an inspiration from him, and he will cause them to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. Abiding therein, Allah is well pleased with them, and they are well pleased with him. These are Allah's party. Now surely the party of Allah are the successful ones. End of Surah 58 Surah 59 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 59 Exile Al-Hash, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth declares the glory of Allah, and he is the mighty, the wise. He it is who caused those who disbelieved of the followers of the book to go forth from their homes, at the first banishment, you did not think that they would go forth, while they were certain that their fortresses would defend them against Allah. But Allah came to them, whence they did not expect and cast terror into their hearts. They demolished their houses with their own hands and the hands of the believers, Therefore, take a lesson, O you who have eyes. And had it not been that Allah had decreed for them the exile, he would certainly have punished them in this world, and in the hereafter they shall have chastisement of the fire. That is because they acted in opposition to Allah, and his messenger, and whoever acts in opposition to Allah, then surely Allah is severe in retributing evil. Whatever palm tree you cut down or leave standing upon its roots, it is by Allah's command, and that he may abase the transgressors. And whatever Allah restored to his messenger, from them you did not press forward against it, any horse or a riding camel, but Allah gives authority to his messengers against whom he pleases, and Allah has power over all things. Whatever Allah has restored to his messenger from the people of the towns, it is for Allah and for the messenger, and for the near of kin, and the orphans, and the needy, and the wayfarer, so that it may not be a thing taken by turns among the rich of you, and whatever the messenger gives you, accept it, 
and from whatever he forbids you, keep back, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is severe in retributing evil. It is for the poor who fled their homes and their possessions, seeking grace of Allah and his pleasure, and assisting Allah and his messenger, these it is that are the truthful. And those who made their abode in the city and in the faith before them love those who have fled to them and do not find in their hearts a need of what they are given and prefer them before themselves, though poverty may afflict them and whoever is preserved from the niggardliness of his soul, these it is that are the successful ones. And those who come after them say, Our Lord, forgive us and those of our brethren who had precedence of us in faith, and do not allow any spite to remain in our hearts toward those who believe. Our Lord, surely thou art kind, merciful. Have you not seen those who have become hypocrites they say to those of their brethren who disbelieve from among the followers of the book, If you are driven forth, we shall certainly go forth with you, and we will never obey anyone concerning you, and if you are fought against, we will certainly help you, and Allah bears witness that they are most surely liars. Certainly, if these are driven forth, they will not go forth with them, and if they are fought against, they will not help them, and even if they help them, they will certainly turn their backs, then they shall not be helped. You are certainly greater in being feared in their hearts than Allah, that is because they are a people who do not understand. They will not fight against you in a body save in fortified towns or from behind walls. Their fighting between them is severe. You may think them as one body and their hearts are disunited. That is because they are a people who have no sense. Like those before them shortly, they tasted the evil result of their affair, and they shall have a painful punishment. Like the shaitan when he says to man, disbelieve, but when he disbelieves, he says, I am surely clear of you. Surely I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Therefore the end of both of them is that they are both in the fire, to abide therein. And that is the reward of the unjust. O you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah, and let every soul consider what it has sent on for the morrow. And be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is aware of what you do. And be not like those who forsook Allah. So he made them forsake their own souls. These it is that are the transgressors. Not alike are the inmates of the fire and the dwellers of the garden. The dwellers of the garden are they that are the achievers. Had we sent down this Quran on a mountain, you would certainly have seen it falling down splitting asunder because of the fear of Allah. And we set forth these parables to men that they may reflect. He is Allah besides whom there is no God, the knower of the unseen and the seen. He is the beneficent, the merciful. He is Allah besides whom there is no God, the King, the Holy, the giver of peace, the grantor of security, guardian over all, the mighty, the supreme, 
the possessor of every greatness. Glory be to Allah from what they set up with him. He is Allah, the creator, the maker, the fashioner. His are the most excellent names. Whatever is in the heavens and the earth declares his glory, and he is the mighty, the wise. End of Surah 59. Surah 60 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 60 She that is to be examined Al-Mumtahana Revealed at Medina In the name of Allah The most beneficent, the most merciful O you who believe Do not take my enemy and your enemy for friends Would you offer them love While they deny what has come to you of the truth driving out the messenger and yourselves because you believe in Allah, your Lord. If you go forth struggling hard in my path and seeking my pleasure, would you manifest love to them? And I know what you conceal and what you manifest. And whoever of you does this, he indeed has gone astray from the straight path. If they find you, they will be your enemies and will stretch forth towards you their hands and their tongues with evil and they ardently desire that you may disbelieve. Your relationship would not profit you nor your children on the day of resurrection. He will decide between you and Allah sees what you do. Indeed, there is for you a good example in Ibrahim and those with him when they said to their people, Surely we are clear of you and of what you serve besides Allah. We declare ourselves to be clear of you and enmity and hatred have appeared between us and you forever until you believe in Allah alone. But not in what Ibrahim said to his father, I would certainly ask forgiveness for you, and I do not control for you aught from Allah. Our Lord, on thee do we rely, and to thee do we turn, and to thee is the eventual coming. Our Lord, do not make us a trial for those who disbelieve, and forgive us, our Lord. Surely thou art the mighty, the wise. Certainly there is for you in them a good example for him who fears Allah and the last day, and whoever turns back, then surely Allah is the self-sufficient, the praised. It may be that Allah will bring about friendship between you and those whom you hold to be your enemies among them. And Allah is powerful and Allah is forgiving merciful. Allah does not forbid you respecting those who have not made war against you on account of your religion and have not driven you forth from your homes, that you show them kindness and deal with them justly. Surely Allah loves the doers of justice. Allah only forbids you respecting those who made war upon you on account of your religion, and drove you forth from your homes and backed up others in your expulsion, that you make friends with them, and whoever makes friends with them, these are the unjust. O you who believe, when believing women come to you flying, then examine them. 
Allah knows best their faith. Then if you find them to be believing women, do not send them back to the unbelievers. Neither are these women lawful for them, nor are those men lawful for them, and give them what they have spent, and no blame attaches to you in marrying them, when you give them their dowries. And hold not to the ties of marriage of unbelieving women, and ask for what you have spent, and let them ask for what they have spent. That is Allah's judgment. He judges between you, and Allah is knowing wise. And if anything, out of the dowries of your wives has passed away from you to the unbelievers, then your turn comes. Give to those whose wives have gone away the like of what they have spent. And be careful of your duty to Allah, in whom you believe. O Prophet, when believing women come to you, giving you a pledge that they will not associate aught with Allah, and will not steal, and will not commit fornication, and will not kill their children, and will not bring a calumny, which they have forged of themselves, and will not disobey you in what is good. Accept their pledge and ask forgiveness for them from Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving merciful. O you who believe, do not make friends with a people with whom Allah is wroth. Indeed, they despair of the hereafter, as the unbelievers despair of those in tombs. End of Surah 60、Surahs、61-65 of the Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 61, The Ranks, As-Saf, Revealed at Medina In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth declares the glory of Allah, and He is the mighty, the wise. O you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? It is most hateful to Allah that you should say that which you do not do. Surely Allah loves those who fight in his way in ranks, as if they were a firm and compact wall. And when Musa said to his people, O、oh、my people, why do you give me trouble? And you know indeed that I am Allah's messenger to you. But when they turned aside, Allah made their hearts turn aside, and Allah doesn't guide the transgressing people. And when Isa son of Maryam said, O children of Israel, surely I am the messenger of Allah to you, verifying that which is before me of the Torah and giving the good news of a messenger who will come after me. his name being Ahmad, but when he came to them with clear arguments, they said, this is clear magic. And who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah, and he is invited to Islam, and Allah does not guide the unjust people. They desire to put out the light of Allah with their mouth, But Allah will perfect his light, though the unbelievers may be averse. He it is who sent his messenger with the guidance and the true religion, that he may make it overcome the religions. All of them, though the polytheists may be averse. O you who believe, shall I lead you to a merchandise which may deliver you from a painful chastisement? 
you shall believe in Allah and his messenger and struggle hard in Allah's way with your property and your lives. That is better for you. Did you but know? He will forgive you your faults and cause you to enter into gardens beneath which rivers flow and goodly dwellings in gardens of perpetuity. That is the mighty achievement. And yet another blessing that you love, help from Allah and the victory near at hand and give good news to the believers. O you who believe, be helpers in the cause of Allah. As Isa, son of Maryam, said to his disciples, Who are my helpers in the cause of Allah? The disciples said, We are helpers in the cause of Allah. So a party of the children of Israel believed and another party disbelieved. Then we aided those who believed against their enemy and they became uppermost. End of Surah 61 Surah 62 Friday al gumah revealed at Medina In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, declares the glory of Allah, the King, the Holy, the Mighty, the Wise. He it is who raised among the inhabitants of Mecca a messenger from among themselves, who recites to them his communications and purifies them, and teaches them the book and the wisdom, although they were before certainly in clear error. And others from among them who have not yet joined them, and he is the mighty, the wise. That is Allah's grace. He grants it to whom he pleases. And Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. The likeness of those who were charged with the Torah. Then they did not observe it. Is as the likeness of the ass bearing books. Evil is the likeness of the people who reject the communications of Allah. And Allah does not guide the unjust people. Say, O you who are Jews, if you think that you are the favorites of Allah to the exclusion of other people, then invoke death if you are truthful. And they will never invoke it because of what their hands have sent before, and Allah is cognizant of the unjust. Say, as for the death from which you flee, that will surely overtake you. Then you shall be sent back to the knower of the unseen and the seen, and he will inform you of that which you did. O you who believe when the call is made for prayer on Friday, then hasten to the remembrance of Allah and leave off trading that is better for you, if you know. But when the prayer is ended, then disperse abroad in the land and seek of Allah's grace and remember Allah much, that you may be successful. And when they see merchandise or sport, they break up for it and leave you standing. Say what is with Allah is better than sport and better than merchandise, and Allah is the best of sustainers. End of Surah 62 Surah 63, The Hypocrites, Al-Munafikun, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, when the hypocrites come to you, they say, We bear witness that you are most surely Allah's messenger. And Allah knows that you are most surely his messenger. 
And Allah bears witness that the hypocrites are surely liars. They make their oath a shelter and thus turn away from Allah's way. Surely evil is that which they do. That is because they believe, then disbelieve. So a seal is set upon their hearts so that they do not understand. And when you see them, their persons will please you. And if they speak, you will listen to their speech. They are as if they were big pieces of wood clad with garments. They think every cry to be against them. They are the enemy. Therefore, beware of them. May Allah destroy them. Whence are they turned back? And when it is said to them, Come, the Messenger of Allah will ask forgiveness for you. They turn back their heads, and you may see them turning away, while they are big with pride. It is alike to them whether you beg forgiveness for them or do not beg forgiveness for them. Allah will never forgive them. Surely Allah does not guide the transgressing people. They it is who say, Do not spend upon those who are with the Messenger of Allah until they break up. And Allah's are the treasures of the heavens and the earth. But the hypocrites do not understand. They say, if we return to Medina, the mighty will surely drive out the meaner therefrom. And to Allah belongs the might, and to his messenger, and to the believers. But the hypocrites do not know. O you who believe, let not your wealth or your children divert you from the remembrance of Allah. And whoever does that, these are the losers. And spend out of what we have given you before death comes to one of you, so that he should say, My Lord, why didst thou not respite me to a near term, so that I should have given alms and been of the doers of good deeds? And Allah does not respite a soul when its appointed term has come. And Allah is aware of what you do. End of Surah 63 Surah 64 Mutual Disillusion Attaghabun Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, Whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth declares the glory of Allah. To him belongs the kingdom, and to him is due all praise, and he has power over all things. He it is who created you, but one of you is an unbeliever, and another of you is a believer, and Allah sees what you do. He created the heavens and the earth with truth, and he formed you, then made goodly your forms, and to him is the ultimate resort. He knows what is in the heavens and the earth, and he knows what you hide and what you manifest, and Allah is cognizant of what is in the hearts. Had there not come to you the story of those who disbelieved before, then tasted the evil result of their conduct, and they had a painful punishment. That is because there came to them their messengers with clear arguments, but they said, Shall mortals guide us? So they disbelieved and turned back. And Allah does not stand in need of anything, and Allah a self-sufficient praised. Those who disbelieve 
think that they shall never be raised. Say I, by my Lord, you shall most certainly be raised. Then you shall most certainly be informed of what you did, and that is easy to Allah. Therefore believe in Allah and his messenger and the light which we have revealed, and Allah is aware of what you do. On the day that he will gather you for the day of gathering, that is the day of loss and gain. And whoever believes in Allah and does good, he will remove from him his evil and cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide therein forever. That is the great achievement. And as for those who disbelieve and reject our communications, they are the inmates of the fire. To abide therein and evil is the resort. No affliction comes about but by Allah's permission. And whoever believes in Allah, he guides aright his heart. And Allah is cognizant of all things. And obey Allah and obey the messenger. But if you turn back, then upon our messenger devolves only the clear delivery of the message. Allah, there is no God but He. And upon Allah, then let the believers rely. O you who believe, surely from among your wives and your children, there is an enemy to you. Therefore beware of them. And if you pardon and forbear and forgive, then surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Your possessions and your children are only a trial. And Allah it is with whom is a great reward. Therefore be careful of your duty to Allah as much as you can, and hear and obey and spend. It is better for your souls, and whoever is saved from the greediness of his soul, these it is that are the successful. If you set apart for Allah a goodly portion, he will double it for you and forgive you. And Allah is the multiplier of rewards for bearing, the knower of the unseen and the seen, the mighty, the wise. End of Surah 64 Surah 65, Divorce, at talaq Revealed at Medina In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O Prophet, when you divorce women, divorce them for their prescribed time and calculate the number of the days prescribed and be careful of your duty to Allah. Your Lord, do not drive them out of their houses, nor should they themselves go forth unless they commit an open indecency. And these are the limits of Allah. And whoever goes beyond the limits of Allah, he indeed does injustice to his own soul. You do not know that Allah may after that bring about reunion. So when they have reached their prescribed time, then retain them with kindness or separate them with kindness. And call to witness to men of justice from among you, and give upright testimony for Allah. With that is admonished he who believes in Allah, and the latter day, and whoever is careful of his duty to Allah, he will make for him an outlet, and give him sustenance from whence he thinks not. And whoever trusts in Allah, he is sufficient for him. Surely Allah attains his purpose. Allah indeed has appointed a measure for everything. 
And as for those of your women who have despaired of menstruation, if you have a doubt their prescribed time shall be three months, and of those two who have not had their courses, and as for the pregnant women, their prescribed time is that they lay down their burden. And whoever is careful of his duty to Allah, he will make easy for him his affair. That is the command of Allah, which he has revealed to you. And whoever is careful of his duty to Allah, he will remove from him his evil and give him a big reward. Lodge them where you lodge according to your means, and do not injure them in order that you may straighten them. And if they are pregnant, spend on them until they lay down their burden. Then if they suckle for you, give them their recompense and enjoin one another among you to do good. And if you disagree, Another woman shall suckle for him. Let him who has abundance spend out of his abundance, and whoever has his means of subsistence straighten to him. Let him spend out of that which Allah has given him. Allah does not lay on any soul a burden, except to the extent to which he has granted it. Allah brings about ease after difficulty. And how many a town which rebelled against the commandment of its Lord and his messengers, so we called it to account severely, and we chastised it with a stern chastisement. So it tasted the evil result of its conduct, and the end of its affair was perdition. Allah has prepared for them severe chastisement. Therefore be careful of your duty to Allah. O men of understanding who believe, Allah has indeed revealed to you a reminder, a messenger who recites to you the clear communications of Allah, so that he may bring forth those who believe and do good deeds from darkness into light. And whoever believes in Allah and does good deeds, he will cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide therein forever. Allah has indeed given him a goodly sustenance. Allah is he who created seven heavens and of the earth the like of them. The decree continues to descend among them, that you may know that Allah has power over all things, and that Allah indeed encompasses all things in his knowledge. End of Surah 65 Surahs 66-70 to 70. Of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 66 Banning at Tahrim revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful. O Prophet, why do you forbid yourself that which Allah has made lawful for you? You seek to please your wives, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. Allah indeed has sanctioned for you the expiation of your oath, and Allah is your protector, and he is the knowing, the wise. And when the Prophet secretly communicated a piece of information to one of his wives, but when she informed others of it, and Allah made him to know it, he made known part of it and avoided part. So when he informed her of it, she said, Who informed you of this? He said, The knowing, 
the one aware informed me. If you both turn to Allah, then indeed your hearts are already inclined to this. And if you back up each other against him, then surely Allah it is who is his guardian and Jibreel and the believers that do good and the angels after that are the aiders. Maybe his Lord, if he divorce you, will give him in your place wives better than you, submissive, faithful, obedient, penitent, adorers, fosters, widows, and virgins. O you who believe, save yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is men and stones. Over it are angels stern and strong. They do not disobey Allah in what he commands them and do as they are commanded. O you who disbelieve, do not urge excuses today. You shall be rewarded only according to what you did. O you who believe, turn to Allah a sincere turning. Maybe your Lord will remove from you your evil and cause you to enter gardens, beneath which rivers flow. On the day on which Allah will not abase the Prophet and those who believe with him, their light shall run on before them and on their right hands. They shall say, Our Lord, make perfect for us our light and grant us protection. Surely thou hast power over all things. O Prophet, Strive hard against the unbelievers and the hypocrites and be hard against them and their abode is hell and evil is the resort. Allah sets forth an example to those who disbelieve the wife of Nuh and the wife of Lut. They were both under two of our righteous servants but they acted treacherously towards them, so they availed them not against Allah. And it was said, Enter both the fire with those who enter. And Allah sets forth an example to those who believe. The wife of Pharaoh, when she said, My Lord built for me a house with thee in the garden and deliver me from Pharaoh and his doing and deliver me from the unjust people and Maryam the daughter of Amran who guarded her chastity so we breathed into her of our inspiration and she accepted the truth of the words of her Lord and his books and she was of the obedient ones End of Surah 66 Surah 67 The Sovereignty Al-Mulk Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful Blessed is he in whose hand is the kingdom And he has power over all things Who created death and life that he may try you, which of you is best in deeds, and he is the mighty, the forgiving, who created the seven heavens, one above another. You see no incongruity in the creation of the beneficent Allah. Then look again, can you see any disorder? Then turn back the eye again and again. Your look shall come back to you confused while it is fatigued. And certainly we have adorned this lower heaven with lamps, and we have made these missiles for the shaitans, and we have prepared for them the chastisement of burning. And for those who disbelieve in their Lord is the punishment of hell 
and evil is the resort. When they shall be cast therein, they shall hear a loud moaning of it as it heaves, almost bursting for fury. Whenever a group is cast into it, its keeper shall ask them, Did there not come to you a warner? They shall say, Yea, indeed there came to us a warner, but we rejected him and said, Allah has not revealed anything. You are only in a great error. And they shall say, Had we but listened or pondered, we should not have been among the inmates of the burning fire. So they shall acknowledge their sins, but far will be forgiveness from the inmates of the burning fire. As for those who fear their Lord in secret, they shall surely have forgiveness and a great reward. And conceal your word or manifest it, surely he is cognizant of what is in the hearts. Does he not know who created, and he is the knower of the subtleties, the aware? He it is who made the earth smooth for you. Therefore go about in the spacious sides thereof and eat of his sustenance, and to him is the return after death. Are you secure of those in the heaven, that he should not make the earth to swallow you up? Then, lo, it shall be in a state of commotion. Or are you secure of those in the heaven, that he should not send down upon you a punishment, then shall you know how was my warning. And certainly those before them rejected the truth, then how was my disapproval? Have they not seen the birds above them, expanding their wings and contracting them? What is it that withholds them save the beneficent Allah? Surely he sees everything. Or who is it that will be a host for you to assist you besides the beneficent Allah? The unbelievers are only in deception. Or who is it that will give you sustenance if he should withhold his sustenance? Nay, they persist in disdain and aversion. What? Is he who goes prone upon his face better guided, or he who walks upright upon a straight path? Say, he it is who brought you into being, and made for you the ears and the eyes and the hearts. Little is it that you give thanks. Say, he it is who multiplied you in the earth, and to him you shall be gathered. And they say, when shall this threat be executed, if you are truthful? Say, the knowledge thereof is only with Allah, and I am only a plain warner. But when they shall see it nigh, the faces of those who disbelieve shall be sorry, and it shall be said, this is that which you used to call for. Say, have you considered if Allah should destroy me and those with me? Rather, he will have mercy on us. Yet who will protect the unbelievers from a painful punishment? Say, he is the beneficent Allah. We believe in him and on him do we rely. So you shall come to know who it is that is in clear error. Say, have you considered if your water should go down? Who is it then that will bring you flowing water? End of Surah 67 Surah 68 The Pen, Al-Qalam, Revealed at Mecca 
In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Noon, I swear by the pen and what the angels write. By the grace of your Lord, you are not mad. And most surely you shall have a reward never to be cut off. And most surely you conform yourself to sublime morality. So you shall see and they too shall see which of you is afflicted with madness. Surely your Lord best knows him who errs from his way and he best knows the followers of the right course, so do not yield to the rejecters. They wish that you should be pliant, so they too would be pliant, and yield not to any mean swearer, defamer going about with slander, forbidder of good, outstepping the limits, sinful. Ignoble, besides all that base born, because he possesses wealth and sons. When our communications are recited to him, he says, stories of those of yore, we will brand him on the nose. Surely we will try them as we tried the owners of the garden, when they swore that they would certainly cut off the produce in the morning, and were not willing to set aside a portion for the poor, then there encompassed it a visitation from your Lord while they were sleeping. So it became as black barren land, and they called out to each other in the morning, saying, Go early to your tilth, if you would cut the produce. So they went while they consulted together secretly, saying, No poor man shall enter it today upon you. And in the morning they went, having the power to prevent. But when they saw it, they said, Most surely we have gone astray. Nay, we are made to suffer privation. The best of them said, Did I not say to you, Why do you not glorify Allah? They said, Glory be to our Lord. Surely we were unjust. Then some of them advanced against others, blaming each other. Said they, O woe to us. Surely we were inordinate. Maybe our Lord will give us instead one better than it. Surely to our Lord do we make our humble petition. Such is the chastisement, and certainly the chastisement of the hereafter is greater. Did they but know? Surely those who guard against evil shall have with their Lord gardens of bliss. What shall we then make that is treat those who submit as the guilty? What has happened to you? How do you judge? Or have you a book wherein you read that you have surely therein what you choose? Or have you received from us an agreement confirmed by an oath extending to the day of resurrection? that you shall surely have what you demand. Ask them which of them will vouch for that, or have they associates if they are truthful. On the day when there shall be a severe affliction, and they shall be called upon to make obeisance, but they shall not be able. Their looks cast down, abasement shall overtake them, and they were called upon to make obeisance, indeed while yet they were safe. So leave me and him who rejects this announcement. We will overtake them by degrees, from whence they perceive not. And I do bear with them, surely my plan is firm. Or do you ask from them a reward? so that they are burdened with debt.
or have they the knowledge of the unseen so that they write it down? So wait patiently for the judgment of your Lord and be not like the companion of the fish when he cried while he was in distress. Were it not that favor from his Lord had overtaken him, he would certainly have been cast down upon the naked found while he was blamed. Then his Lord chose him, and he made him of the good. And those who disbelieve would almost smite you with their eyes when they hear the reminder, and they say, Most surely he is mad. And it is not but a reminder to the nations. End of Surah 68 Surah 69 The Reality Al-Haqqa, revealed at Mecca, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, the sure calamity. What is the sure calamity? And what would make you realize what the sure calamity is? Samud and Ad called the striking calamity a lie. Then as to Samud, they were destroyed by an excessively severe punishment. And as to add, they were destroyed by a roaring violent blast, which he made to prevail against them for seven nights and eight days unremittingly, so that you might have seen the people therein prostrate as if they were the trunks of hollow palms. Do you then see of them one remaining, and Pharaoh and those before him, and the overthrown cities continuously committed sins? And they disobeyed the messenger of their Lord, so he punished them with a vehement punishment. Surely we bore you up in the ship when the water rose high so that we may make it a reminder to you, and that the retaining ear might retain it. And when the trumpet is blown with a single blast, and the earth and the mountains are borne away, and crushed with a single crushing, on that day shall the great event come to pass, and the heaven shall cleave asunder so that on that day it shall be frail, and the angels shall be on the sides thereof, and above them eight shall bear on that day your Lord's power. On that day you shall be exposed to view, no secret of yours shall remain hidden. Then as for him who is given his book in his right hand, he will say, Lo, Read my book. Surely I knew that I shall meet my account, so he shall be in a life of pleasure. In a lofty garden, the fruits of which are near at hand, eat and drink pleasantly for what you did beforehand in the days gone by. And as for him who is given his book in his left hand, he shall say, O oh, would that my book had never been given me, and I had not known what my account was. O oh, would that it had made an end of me. My wealth has availed me nothing. My authority is gone away from me. Lay hold on him, then put a chain on him, then cast him into the burning fire, then thrust him into a chain, the length of which is seventy cubits. Surely he did not believe in Allah, the great, nor did he urge the feeding of the poor. Therefore he has not here today a true friend, nor any food except refuse, which none but the wrongdoers eat. But nay, I swear by that which you see, and that which you do not see, most surely it is the word brought by an honored messenger. 
and it is not the word of a poet, little is it that you believe, nor the word of a soothsayer, little is it that you mind. It is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. And if he had fabricated against us some of the sayings, we would certainly have seized him by the right hand. Then we would certainly have cut off his aota, and not one of you could have withheld us from him. And most surely it is a reminder for those who guard against evil. And most surely we know that some of you are rejecters, and most surely it is a great grief to the unbelievers, and most surely it is the true certainty. Therefore, glorify the name of your Lord, the Great. End of Surah 69 Surah 70 The Ascending Stairways al Ma'arij, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. When demanding, demanded the chastisement which must befall. The unbelievers, there is none to avert it. From Allah, the Lord of the ways of ascent, to him, Ascend the angels and the spirit in a day, the measure of which is 50,000 years. Therefore endure with a goodly patience. Surely they think it to be far off, and we see it nigh. On the day when the heaven shall be as molten copper, and the mountains shall be as tufts of wool, and friend shall not ask of friend. Though they shall be made to see each other, the guilty one would fain redeem himself from the chastisement of that day by sacrificing his children. And his wife and his brother and the nearest of his kinsfolk who gave him shelter, and all those that are in the earth wishing then that this might deliver him. By no means, surely it is a flaming fire, dragging by the head. It shall claim him who turned and fled from truth, and amasses wealth, then shuts it up. Surely man is created of a hasty temperament being greatly grieved when evil afflicts him, and niggardly when good befalls him, except those who pray. Those who are constant at their prayer, and those in whose wealth there is a fixed portion, for him who begs and for him who is denied good, and those who accept the truth of the judgment day, and those who are fearful of the chastisement of their Lord. Surely the chastisement of their Lord is a thing not to be felt secure of, and those who guard their private parts, except in the case of their wives or those whom their right hands possess, for these surely are not to be blamed. But he who seeks to go beyond this these it is that go beyond the limits, and those who are faithful to their trusts and their covenant, and those who are upright in their testimonies, and those who keep a guard on their prayer, those shall be in gardens honored. But what is the matter with those who disbelieve that they hasten on around you, on the right hand and on the left, in sundry parties. Does every man of them desire that he should be made to enter the garden of bliss? By no means, surely we have created them of what they know. But nay, I swear by the Lord of the Easts and the Wests that we are certainly able 
to bring instead others better than them, and we shall not be overcome. Therefore leave them alone to go on with the false discourses, and to sport until they come face to face, with that day of theirs with which they are threatened, the day on which they shall come forth from their graves in haste, as if they were hastening on to a goal, their eyes cast down. Disgrace shall overtake them. That is the day which they were threatened with. End of Surah 70 Surahs 71-75 to 75. Of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 71 Nuh revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Surely we sent Nuh to his people, saying, Warn your people before there come upon them a painful chastisement. He said, O oh my people, surely I am a plain warner to you that you should serve Allah and be careful of your duty to him and obey me. He will forgive you some of your faults and grant you a delay to an appointed term. Surely the term of Allah when it comes is not postponed, did you but know? He said, O oh my Lord, surely I have called my people by night and by day, but my call has only made them flee the more. And whenever I have called them that thou mayest forgive them, they put their fingers in their ears, cover themselves with their garments, and persist and are puffed up with pride. Then surely I called to them aloud. Then surely I spoke to them in public, and I spoke to them in secret. Then I said, Ask forgiveness of your Lord. Surely he is the most forgiving. He will send down upon you the cloud, pouring down abundance of rain and help you with wealth and sons, and make for you gardens, and make for you rivers. What is the matter with you, that you fear not the greatness of Allah? And indeed he has created you through various grades. Do you not see how Allah has created the seven heavens, one above another, and made the moon therein a light, and made the sun a lamp. And Allah has made you grow out of the earth as a growth. Then he returns you to it. Then will he bring you forth, and you bringing forth. And Allah has made for you the earth a wide expanse, that you may go along therein in wide path. Nuh said, my Lord, surely they have disobeyed me and followed him whose wealth and children have added to him nothing but loss. And they have planned a very great plan. And they say, by no means leave your gods, nor leave Wadda, nor Suwa'a, nor Yaguth, and Ya'uqa, and Nisra. And indeed they have led astray many, and do not increase the unjust in aught but error. Because of their wrongs they were drowned, then made to enter fire, so they did not find any helpers besides Allah. And Nuh said, My Lord, leave not upon the land any dweller from among the unbelievers. For surely if thou leave them, they will lead astray thy servants and will not beget any but immoral, ungrateful 
children. My Lord, forgive me and my parents, and him who enters my house believing, and the believing men, and the believing women, and do not increase the unjust in aught but destruction. End of Surah 71 Surah 72 The Jinn, al Jinn, revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful Say it has been revealed to me that a party of the Jinn listened and they said, Surely we have heard a wonderful Quran guiding to the right way so we believe in it and we will not set up anyone with our Lord and that he exalted be the majesty of our Lord has not taken a consort nor a son and that the foolish amongst us used to forge extravagant things against Allah and that we thought that men and jinn did not utter a lie against Allah, and that persons from among men used to seek refuge with persons from among jinn, so they increased them in wrongdoing, and that they thought, as you think, that Allah would not raise anyone, and that we sought to reach heaven, but we found it filled with the strong guards and flaming stars, and that we used to sit in some of the sitting places thereof to steal a hearing, but he who would try to listen now would find a flame lying in wait for him, and that we know not whether evil is meant for those who are on earth or whether the Lord means to bring them good and that some of us are good and others of us are below that. We are sects following different ways, and that we know that we cannot escape Allah in the earth, nor can we escape him by flight. And that when we heard the guidance, we believed in it. So whoever believes in his Lord, he should neither fear loss nor being overtaken by disgrace. And that some of us are those who submit, and some of us are the deviators. So whoever submits, these aim at the right way. And as to the deviators, they are fuel of hell. And that if they should keep to the right way, we would certainly give them to drink of abundant water so that we might try them with respect to it, and whoever turns aside from the reminder of his Lord, he will make him enter into an afflicting chastisement. And that the mosques are Allah's, therefore call not upon anyone with Allah. And that when the servant of Allah stood up calling upon him, they well nigh crowded him to death. Say, I only call upon my Lord, and I do not associate anyone with him. Say, I do not control for you evil or good. Say, surely no one can protect me against Allah, nor can I find besides him any place of refuge. It is only a delivering of communications from Allah and his messages. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, surely he shall have the fire of hell to abide therein for a long time. Until when they see what they are threatened with, then shall they know who is weaker in helpers and fewer in number. Say, I do not know whether that with which you are threatened be nigh, or whether my Lord will appoint for it a term. The knower of the unseen, so he does not reveal his secrets to any, except to him whom 
he chooses as a messenger, for surely he makes a guard to march before him and after him, so that he may know that they have truly delivered the messages of their Lord. And he encompasses what is with them, and he records the number of all things. End of Surah 72 Surah 73 The Bundled Up Al-Muzzammal Revealed at Mecca in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O you who have wrapped up in your garments, rise to pray in the night except a little. Half of it or lessen it a little. Or add to it and recite the Quran as it ought to be recited. Surely we will make to light upon you a weighty word. Surely the rising by night is the firmest way to tread and the best corrective of speech. Surely you have in the daytime a long occupation and remember the name of your Lord and devote yourself to him with exclusive devotion. The Lord of the East and the West, there is no God but He, therefore take Him for a protector, and bear patiently what they say and avoid them with a becoming avoidance. And leave me and the rejecters, the possessors of ease and plenty, and respite them a little. Surely with us are heavy fetters, and the flaming fire, and food that chocks and the painful punishment. On the day when the earth and the mountains shall quake, and the mountains shall become as heaps of sand let loose, surely we have sent to you a messenger, a witness against you, as we sent a messenger to Pharaoh. But Pharaoh disobeyed the messenger, so we laid on him a violent hold. How then will you guard yourselves if you disbelieve on the day which shall make children grey-headed? The heaven shall rend asunder, thereby his promise is ever brought to fulfillment. Surely this is a reminder then let him who will take the way to his Lord. Surely your Lord knows that you pass in prayer nearly two-thirds of the night, and sometimes half of it, and sometimes a third of it, and also a part of those with you. And Allah measures the night and the day. He knows that you are not able to do it. So he has turned to you mercifully. Therefore, read what is easy of the Quran. He knows that there must be among you sick and others who travel in the land seeking of the bounty of Allah and others who fight in Allah's way. Therefore, read as much of it as is easy to you and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and offer to Allah a goodly gift and whatever of good you send on beforehand for yourselves. You will find it with Allah. That is best and greatest in reward and ask forgiveness of Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. End of Surah 73 Surah 74, The Cloaked One, Al-Muddassar, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O you who are clothed, arise and warn, and your Lord do magnify, and your garments do purify, and uncleanness do shun, and bestow not favors that you may receive again with increase, 
and for the sake of your Lord, be patient. For when the trumpet is sounded, that at that time shall be a difficult day. For the unbelievers, anything but easy. Leave me and him, whom I created alone, and give him vast riches and sons dwelling in his presence. And I adjusted affairs for him adjustably, and yet he desires that I should add more. By no means, surely he offers opposition to our communications. I will make a distressing punishment overtake him. Surely he reflected and guessed. But may he be cursed how he plotted. Again, may he be cursed how he plotted. Then he looked, then he frowned and scowled. Then he turned back and was big with pride. Then he said, this is naught but enchantment narrated from others. This is naught but the word of a mortal. I will cast him into hell, and what will make you realize what hell is? It leaves naught, nor does it spare oath. It scorches the mortal. Over it are nineteen, and we have not made the wardens of the fire others than angels, and we have not made their number but as a trial for those who disbelieve, that those who have been given the book may be certain, and those who believe may increase in faith. And those who have been given the book, and the believers may not doubt. And that those in whose hearts is a disease, and the unbelievers may say, What does Allah mean by this parable? Thus does Allah make err whom he pleases, and he guides whom he pleases. And none knows the hosts of your Lord but he himself. And this is not but a reminder to the mortals. Nay, I swear by the moon and the night when it departs and the daybreak when it shines. Surely it hell is one of the gravest misfortunes, a warning to mortals. To him among you who wishes to go forward or remain behind, every soul is held in pledge for what it earns, except the people of the right hand. In gardens they shall ask each other about the guilty. What has brought you into hell? They shall say, we were not of those who prayed. And we used not to feed the poor, and we used to enter into vain discourse with those who entered into vain discourses. And we used to call the day of judgment a lie, till death overtook us, so the intercession of intercessors shall not avail them. What is then the matter with them? that they turn away from the admonition, as if they were asses taking fright, that had fled from a lion. Nay, every one of them desires that he may be given pages spread out. Nay, but they do not fear the hereafter. Nay, it is surely an admonition, so whoever pleases may mind it. And they will not mind unless Allah please. He is worthy to be feared and worthy to forgive. End of Surah 74 Surah 75 The Rising of the Dead Al-Qiyamah Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, Nay, I swear by the day of resurrection. Nay, I swear by the self-accusing soul. Does man think that we shall not gather his bones? 
Yea, we are able to make complete his very fingertips. Nay, man desires to give the lie to what is before him. He asks, when is the day of resurrection? So when the sight becomes dazed, and the moon becomes dark, and the sun and the moon are brought together, man shall say on that day, whither to fly to? By no means there shall be no place of refuge. With your Lord alone shall on that day be the place of rest. Man shall on that day be informed of what he sent before and what he put off. Nay, man is evidence against himself. Though he puts forth his excuses, do not move your tongue with it to make haste with it. Surely on us devolves the collecting of it and the reciting of it. Therefore, when we have recited it, follow its recitation. Again on us devolves the explaining of it. Nay, but you love the present life and neglect the hereafter. Some faces on that day shall be bright, looking to their Lord and other faces on that day shall be gloomy, knowing that there will be made to befall them some great calamity. Nay, when it comes up to the throat, and it is said, who will be a magician? And he is sure that it is the hour of parting, and affliction is combined with affliction. To your Lord on that day shall be the driving. So he did not accept the truth, nor did he pray, but called the truth a lie and turned back. Then he went to his followers, walking away in haughtiness. Nearer to you is destruction and nearer. Again consider how, nearer to you and nearer, does man think that he is to be left to wander without an aim? Was he not a small seed in the seminal elements? Then he was a clot of blood, so he created him, then made him perfect. Then he made of him two kinds, the male and the female. Is not he able to give life to the dead? End of Surah 75 Surahs 76 to 80 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 76 Man Al Insan revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. There surely came over man a period of time when he was a thing not worth mentioning. Surely we have created man from a small life germ, uniting itself. We mean to try him, so we have made him hearing, seeing. Surely we have shown him the way. He may be thankful or unthankful. Surely we have prepared for the unbelievers chains and shackles and a burning fire. Surely the righteous shall drink of a cup, the admixture of which is kafur, a fountain from which the servants of Allah shall drink. They make it to flow a goodly flowing forth. They fulfill vows and fear a day the evil of which shall be spreading far and wide. And they give food out of love for him to the poor and the orphan and the captive. We only feed you for Allah's sake. We desire from you neither reward nor thanks. 
Surely we fear from our Lord a stern, distressful day. Therefore Allah will guard them from the evil of that day and cause them to meet with ease and happiness and reward them because they were patient with garden and silk. Reclining therein on raised couches, they shall find therein neither the severe heat of the sun nor intense cold, and closed down upon them shall be its shadows, and its fruits shall be made near to them, being easy to reach. And there shall be made to go round about them vessels of silver and goblets, which are of glass, transparent as glass, made of silver. They have measured them according to a measure. And they shall be made to drink therein a cup, the admixture of which shall be ginger, of a fountain therein which is named Salsabil, and round about them shall go youths never altering in age. When you see them, you will think them to be scattered pearls. And when you see there, you shall see blessings and a great kingdom. Upon them shall be garments of fine green silk and thick silk interwoven with gold, and they shall be adorned with bracelets of silver, and their Lord shall make them drink a pure drink. Surely this is a reward for you, and your striving shall be recompensed. Surely we ourselves have revealed the Quran to you, revealing it in portions. Therefore, wait patiently for the command of your Lord, and obey not from among them a sinner or an ungrateful one. And glorify the name of your Lord, morning and evening, and during part of the night adore him, and give glory to him a long part of the night. Surely these love the transitory and neglect a grievous day before them. We created them and made firm their make, and when we please, we will bring in their place the likes of them by a change. Surely this is a reminder, so whoever pleases takes to his Lord away, and you do not please except that Allah please. Surely Allah is knowing wise. He makes whom he pleases to enter into his mercy, and as for the unjust, he has prepared for them a painful chastisement. End of Surah 76 Surah 77 The Emissaries al Mursalat, Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the emissary winds, sent one after another for men's benefit, by the raging hurricanes, which scatter clouds to their destined places, then separate them one from another. Then I swear by the angels who bring down the revelation to clear or to warn. Most surely what you are threatened with must come to pass. So when the stars are made to lose their light, and when the heaven is rent asunder, and when the mountains are carried away as dust, and when the messengers are gathered at their appointed time, to what day is the doom fixed? To the day of decision. And what will make you comprehend what the day of decision is? 
who on that day to the rejecters, did we not destroy the former generations? Then did we follow them up with later ones? Even thus shall we deal with the guilty. Who on that day to the rejecters? Did we not create you from contemptible water? Then we placed it in a secure resting place. Till an appointed term, so we proportion it. How well are we at proportioning things? Who on that day to the rejecters? Have we not made the earth to draw together to itself, the living and the dead, and made the rain lofty mountains, and given you to drink of sweet water? Who on that day to the rejecters, walk unto that which you called a lie, walk unto the covering having three branches, neither having the coolness of the shade, nor availing against the flame. Surely it sends up sparks like palaces, as if they were tawny camels. Who on that day to the rejecters, this is the day on which they shall not speak, and permission shall not be given to them, so that they should offer excuses. Who on that day to the rejecters, this is the day of decision. We have gathered you and those of your. So if you have a plan, plan against me now. Who on that day to the rejecters? Surely those who guard against evil shall be amid shades and fountains and fruits such as they desire. Eat and drink pleasantly because of what you did. Surely thus do we reward the doers of good. Who on that day to the rejecters, eat and enjoy yourselves for a little. Surely you are guilty. Who on that day to the rejecters, and where it is said to them, bow down, they do not bow down. Who on that day to the rejecters, in what announcement then after it will they believe? End of Surah 77 Surah 78 The Announcement and naba Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Of what do they ask one another about the great event? about which they differ. Nay, they shall soon come to know. Nay, nay, they shall soon know. Have we not made the earth an even expanse and the mountains as projections thereon? And we created you in pairs and we made your sleep to be rest to you and we made the night to be a covering. And we made the day for seeking livelihood, and we made above you seven strong ones, and we made a shining lamp, and we sent down from the clouds water pouring forth abundantly, that we may bring forth thereby corn and herbs, and gardens dense and luxuriant. Surely the day of decision is a day appointed, the day on which the trumpet shall be blown, so you shall come forth in hosts, and the heaven shall be opened, so that it shall be all openings, and the mountains shall be moved off, so that they shall remain a mere semblance. Surely hell lies in wait a place of resort for the inordinate, living therein for ages. They shall not taste therein cool nor drink, but boiling and intensely cold water, requital corresponding. Surely they feared not the account. And called our communications a lie, giving the lie to the truth, 
and we have recorded everything in a book. So taste, for we will not add to you aught but chastisement. Surely for those who guard against evil is achievement, gardens and vineyards, and voluptuous women of equal age, and a pure cup. They shall not hear therein any vain words nor lying, a reward from your Lord, a gift according to a reckoning. The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, the beneficent Allah, they shall not be able to address him. The day on which the spirit and the angels shall stand in ranks, they shall not speak except he whom the beneficent Allah permits, and who speaks the right thing. That is the sure day, so whoever desires may take refuge with his Lord. Surely we have warned you of a chastisement near at hand, the day when man shall see what his two hands have sent before, and the unbeliever shall say, Oh, would that I were dust. End of Surah 78 Surah 79 Those who drag forth a nazi'at revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the angels who violently pull out the souls of the wicked and by those who gently draw out the souls of the blessed and by those who float in space, then those who are foremost going ahead, then those who regulate the affair, the day on which the quaking one shall quake, what must happen afterwards shall follow it. Hearts on that day shall palpitate, their eyes cast down. They say, shall we indeed be restored to our first estate? What when we are rotten bones? They said that then would be a return occasioning loss. But it shall be only a single cry. When lo, they shall be wakeful, has not there come to you the story of Musa, when his Lord called upon him in the holy valley twice? Go to Pharaoh, surely he has become inordinate. Then say, have you a desire to purify yourself, and I will guide you to your Lord, so that you should fear. So he showed him the mighty sign. But he rejected the truth and disobeyed. Then he went back hastily. Then he gathered men and called out. Then he said, I am your Lord the Most High. So Allah seized him with the punishment of the hereafter and the former life. Most surely there is in this a lesson to him. Who fears? Are you the harder to create or the heaven? He made it. He raised high its height, then put it into a right good state. And he made dark its night and brought out its light. And the earth he expanded it after that. He brought forth from it its water and its pasturage. And the mountains he made them firm, a provision for you and for your cattle. But when the great predominating calamity comes, the day on which man shall recollect what he strove after, and the hell shall be made manifest to him who sees, then as for him who is inordinate, and prefers the life of this world, then surely the hell that is the abode. And as for him who fears to stand in the presence of his Lord and forbids the soul from low desires, then surely the garden that is the abode.
They ask you about the hour, when it will come, about what you are one to remind of it. To your Lord is the goal of it. You are only a warner to him who would fear it. On the day that they see it, it will be as though they had not tarried, but the latter part of a day or the early part of it. End of Surah 79 Surah 80 He frowned, Abbas, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, he frowned and turned his back, because there came to him the blind man. And what would make you know that he would purify himself? or become reminded so that the reminder should profit him. As for him who considers himself free from need of you, to him do you address yourself? And no blame is on you if he would not purify himself. And as to him who comes to you striving hard, and he fears from him will you divert yourself, Nay, surely it is an admonishment, so let him who pleases mind it in honored books. Exalted, purified, in the hands of scribes, noble virtues, cursed be man, how ungrateful is he, of what thing did he create him? Of a small seed he created him. Then he made him according to a measure. Then as for the way, he has made it easy for him. Then he causes him to die. Then assigns to him a grave. Then when he pleases, he will raise him to life again. Nay, but he has not done what he bade him. Then let man look to his food that we pour down the water, pouring it down in abundance. Then we cleave the earth, cleaving it asunder. Then we cause to grow therein the grain, and grapes and clover, and the olive and the palm, and thick gardens, and fruits and herbage, a provision for you and for your cattle. But when the deafening cry comes, the day on which a man shall fly from his brother and his mother and his father and his spouse and his son, every man of them shall on that day have an affair which will occupy him. Many faces on that day shall be bright, laughing, joyous, and many faces on that day on them shall be dust. Darkness shall cover them. These are they who are unbelievers, the wicked. End of Surah 80 Surahs 81-85 to 85 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 81, The Overthrowing, at takwir revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. When the sun is covered and when the stars darken and when the mountains are made to pass away and when the camels are left untended, and when the wild animals are made to go forth, and when the seas are set on fire, and when souls are united, and when the female infant buried alive is asked for what sin she was killed, and when the books are spread, and when the heaven has its covering removed, and when the hell is kindled up, and when the garden is brought nigh, every soul shall then know what it has prepared. But nay, I swear by the stars, 
that run their course and hide themselves, and the night when it departs, and the morning when it brightens. Most surely it is the word of an honored messenger, the processor of strength, having an honorable place with the Lord of the dominion, one to be obeyed and faithful in trust. And your companion is not gone mad, and of a truth he saw himself on the clear horizon, nor of the unseen is he a tenacious concealer, nor is it the word of the cursed shaitan. Whither then will you go? It is naught but a reminder for the nations, for him among you who pleases to go straight, and you do not please except that Allah please the Lord of the worlds. End of Surah 81 Surah 82, The Cleaving, Al-Infutar, Revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. When the heaven becomes a cleft asunder, and when the stars become dispersed, and when the seas are made to flow forth, and when the graves are laid open, every soul shall know what it has sent before and held back. O man, what has beguiled you from your Lord, the Gracious One, who created you, then made you complete, then made you symmetrical? Into whatever form he pleased, he constituted you. Nay, but you give the lie to the judgment day, and most surely there are keepers over you. Honorable recorders, they know what you do. Most surely the righteous are in bliss, and most surely the wicked are in burning fire. They shall enter it on the day of judgment, and they shall by no means be absent from it. And what will make you realize what the day of judgment is? Again, what will make you realize what the day of judgment is? The day on which no soul shall control anything for another soul, and the command on that day shall be entirely Allah's. End of Surah 82 Surah 83, Defrauding, al mutaffifin revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Woe to the defrauders, who when they take the measure of their dues, from men take it fully. But when they measure out to others, or weigh out for them, they are deficient. Do not these think that they shall be raised again for a mighty day, the day on which men shall stand before the Lord of the worlds. Nay, most surely the record of the wicked is in the Sijin. And what will make you know what the Sijin is? It is a written book. Woo on that day to the rejecters who give the lie to the day of judgment. And none gives the lie to it but every exceeder of limits sinful one. When our communications are recited to him, he says stories of those of yore. Nay, rather, what they used to do has become like rust upon their hearts. Nay, most surely they shall on that day be debarred from their Lord. Then most surely they shall enter the burning fire. Then shall it be said, this is what you gave the lie to. Nay, most sure the record of the righteous shall be in the Aliyin. And what will make you know what the highest Aliyin is? It is a written book. Those who are drawn near to Allah shall witness it. Most surely the righteous shall be in bliss. On thrones they shall gaze. 
you will recognize in their faces the brightness of bliss. They are made to quaff of a pure drink that is sealed to others. The sealing of it is with mesk, and for that let the aspirers aspire. And the admixture of it is a water of tasneem, a fountain from which drink they who are drawn near to Allah. Surely they who are guilty used to laugh at those who believe. And when they passed by them, they winked at one another. And when they returned to their own followers, they returned exulting. And when they saw them, they said, Most surely these are in error, and they were not sent to be keepers over them. So today those who believe shall laugh at the unbelievers. On thrones they will look, surely the disbelievers are rewarded as they did. End of Surah 83 Surah 84, The Sundering, al Anshakak, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, when the heaven bursts asunder and obeys its Lord and it must, and when the earth is stretched and casts forth what is in it and becomes empty, and obeys its Lord and it must. O man, surely you must strive to attain to your Lord a hard striving until you meet him. Then as to him who is given his book in his right hand, he shall be reckoned with by an easy reckoning, and he shall go back to his people joyful, and as to him who is given his book behind his back, he shall call for perdition and enter into burning fire. Surely he was erstwhile joyful among his followers. Surely he thought that he would never return. Yea, surely his Lord does ever see him. But nay, I swear by the sunset redness, and the night and that which it drives on, and the moon when it grows full, that you shall most certainly enter one state after another. But what is the matter with them that they do not believe? And when the Quran is recited to them, they do not make obeisance. Nay, those who disbelieve give the lie to the truth. And Allah knows best what they hide, so announce to them a painful punishment. Except those who believe and do good, for them is a reward that shall never be cut off. End of Surah 84 Surah 85, the mansions of the stars, Al-Buruj, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the mansions of the stars and the promised day, and the bearer of witness and those against whom the witness is born. Cursed be the makers of the pit of the fire kept burning with fuel when they sat by it. And they were witnesses of what they did with the believers, and they did not take vengeance on them for aught, except that they believed in Allah, the mighty, the praised. Whose is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is a witness of all things. Surely as for those who persecute the believing men and the believing women, then do not repent. They shall have the chastisement of hell, and they shall have the chastisement of burning. 
Surely as for those who believe and do good, they shall have gardens beneath which rivers flow. That is the great achievement. Surely the might of your Lord is great. Surely he it is who originates and reproduces, and he is the forgiving, the loving. Lord of the Arsh, the glorious, the great doer of what he will, has not there come to you the story of the hosts of Pharaoh and Samud? Nay, those who disbelieve are in the act of giving the lie to the truth, and Allah encompasses them on every side. Nay, it is a glorious Quran in a guarded tablet. End of Surah 85Surahs 86 to 90 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 86, the night comer, At-Tariq, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. I swear by the heaven and the comer by night, and what will make you know what the comer by night is? The star of piercing brightness, there is not a soul but over it is a keeper. So let man consider of what he is created. He is created of water pouring forth, coming from between the back and the ribs. Most surely he is able to return him to life. On the day when hidden things shall be made manifest, he shall have neither strength nor helper. I swear by the rain-giving heavens, and the earth splitting with plants, most surely it is a decisive word, and it is no joke. Surely they will make a scheme, and I too will make a scheme. So grant the unbelievers a respite. Let them alone for a while. End of Surah 86 Surah 87, the Most High, Al-A'la, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful. Glorify the name of your Lord, the Most High, who creates, then makes complete, and who makes things according to a measure, then guides them to their goal. And who brings forth herbage, then makes it dried up, dust colored. We will make you recite, so you shall not forget. Except what Allah pleases, surely he knows the manifest and what is hidden. And we will make your way smooth, to a state of ease. Therefore do remind, surely reminding does profit. He who fears will mind, and the most unfortunate one will avoid it, who shall enter the great fire. Then therein he shall neither live nor die. He indeed shall be successful, who purifies himself and magnifies the name of his Lord and prays. Nay, you prefer the life of this world, while the hereafter is better and more lasting. Most surely this is in the earlier scriptures, the scriptures of Abraham and Musa. End of Surah 87 Surah 88 the overwhelming, al ghashiyah revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, has not there come to you the news of the overwhelming calamity? Some faces on that day shall be downcast, laboring, toiling, entering into burning fire, made to drink from a boiling spring, 
they shall have no food but of thorns, which will neither fatten nor avail against hunger. Other faces on that day shall be happy, well pleased because of their striving in a lofty garden, wherein you shall not hear vain talk. Therein is a fountain flowing. Therein are thrones raised high and drinking cups ready placed and cushions set in a row and carpets spread out. Will they not then consider the camels how they are created and the heavens how it is reared aloft and the mountains how they are firmly fixed and the earth how it is made a vast expanse therefore do remain for you are only a reminder you are not a watcher over them but whoever turns back and disbelieves allah will chastise him with the greatest chastisement surely to us is their turning back then surely upon us is the taking of their account. End of Surah 88 Surah 89 The Dawn, Al-Fajr, revealed at Mecca in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. I swear by the daybreak and the ten nights and the even and the odd and the night when it departs Truly in that there is an oath for those who possess understanding. Have you not considered how your Lord dealt with Ad, the people of Iran, possessors of lofty buildings, the like of which were not created in the other cities, and with Samud who hewed out the rocks in the valley? And with Pharaoh, the Lord of hosts, who committed a northern sea in the cities, so they made great mischief therein. Therefore your Lord let down upon them a portion of the chastisement. Most surely your Lord is watching, and as for man, when his Lord tries him, then treats him with honor and makes him lead an easy life, he says, My Lord honors me. But when he tries him differently, then straightens to him his means of subsistence, he says, My Lord has disgraced me. Nay, but you do not honor the orphan, nor do you urge one another to feed the poor. And you eat away the heritage, devouring everything indiscriminately. And you love wealth with exceeding love. Nay, when the earth is made to crumble to pieces, and your Lord comes and also the angels in ranks. And hell is made to appear on that day. On that day shall man be mindful. And what shall being mindful then avail him. He shall say, Oh, would that I had sent before for this my life? But on that day shall no one chastise with anything like his chastisement, and no one shall bind with anything like his binding. O soul that art at rest, return to your Lord well pleased with him, well pleasing him so enter among my servants and enter into my garden end of surah 89 surah 90 the city al balad revealed at mac in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful nay i swear by this city and you shall be made free from obligation in this city and the begetter and whom he begot. Certainly we have created man to be in distress. Does he think that no one has power over him? He shall say, I have wasted much wealth, 
Does he think that no one sees him? Have we not given him two eyes and a tongue and two lips and pointed out to him the two conspicuous ways? But he would not attempt the uphill road. And what will make you comprehend what the uphill road is? It is the setting free of a slave or the giving of food in a day of hunger to an orphan having relationship or to the poor man lying in the dust. Then he is of those who believe and charge one another to show patience and charge one another to show compassion. These are the people of the right hand. And as for those who disbelieve in our communications, they are the people of the left hand. On them is fire closed over. End of Surah 90. Surahs 91-95 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 91, the sun, Shams, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the sun and its brilliance, and the moon when it follows the sun, and the day when it shows it, and the night when it draws a veil over it, and the heaven and him who made it, and the earth and him who extended it, and the soul and him who made it perfect, then he inspired it to understand what is right and wrong for it. He will indeed be successful who purifies it, and he will indeed fail who corrupts it. Samud gave the lie to the truth in their inordency when the most unfortunate of them broke forth with. So Allah's messenger said to them, Leave alone Allah's she camel and give her to drink. But they called him a liar and slaughtered her. Therefore the Lord crushed them for their sin and leveled them with the ground, and he fears not its consequence. End of Surah 91 Surah 92 The Night, Al-Layl, revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the night when it draws a veil, and the day when it shines in brightness, and the creating of the male and the female. Your striving is most surely directed to various ends. Then as for him who gives away and guards against evil and accepts the best, we will facilitate for him the easy end. And as for him who is niggardly and considers himself free from need of Allah and rejects the best. We will facilitate for him the difficult end, and his wealth will not avail him when he perishes. Surely ours is it to show the way, and most surely ours is the hereafter and the former. Therefore I warn you of the fire that flames. None shall enter it but the most unhappy. Who gives the lie to the truth and turns his back. And away from it shall be kept the one who guards most against evil. Who gives away his wealth purifying himself. And no one has with him any boon for which he should be rewarded, except the seeking of the pleasure of his Lord, the Most High, and he shall soon be well pleased. End of Surah 92 Surah 93 
The Morning Hours, Duha, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the early hours of the day and the night when it covers with darkness, your Lord has not forsaken you, nor has he become displeased. And surely what comes after is better for you than that which has gone before. And soon will your Lord give you so that you shall be well pleased. Did he not find you an orphan and give you shelter and find you lost that is unrecognized by men and guide them to you and find you in want and make you to be free from want? Therefore, as for the orphan, do not oppress him. And as for him who asks, do not chide him. And as for the favor of your Lord, do announce it. End of Surah 93 Surah 94 Relief al Insharah, Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, have we not expanded for you your breast and taken off from you your burden which pressed heavily upon your back and exalted for you your esteem? Surely with difficulty is ease. With difficulty is surely ease. So when you are free, nominate and make your Lord your exclusive object. End of Surah 94. Surah 95, the fig 18, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the fig and the olive and Mount Sinai and this city made secure. Certainly we created man in the best make, then we render him the lowest of the law, except those who believe and do good, so they shall have a reward, never to be cut off. Then who can give you the lie after this about the judgment? Is not Allah the best of the judges? End of Surah 95. Surahs 96-100 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 96, the Clot, Al-Alaq, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Read in the name of your Lord who created. He created man from a clot. Read and your Lord is most honorable. Who taught to write with the pen, taught man what he knew not. Nay, man is most surely inordinate. Because he sees himself free from want, surely to your Lord is the return. Have you seen him who forbids a servant when he prays? Have you considered if he were on the right way or enjoined guarding against evil? Have you considered if he gives the lie to the truth and turns his back? Does he not know that Allah does see? Nay, if he desist not, we would certainly smite his forehead, a lying sinful forehead. Then let him summon his counsel. We too would summon the braves of the army. Nay, obey him not, and make obeisance and draw nigh to Allah. End of Surah 96 Surah 97 Fate Al-Qadr Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah the most beneficent, the most merciful. 
Surely we revealed it on the grand night, and what will make you comprehend what the grand night? The grand night is better than a thousand months. The angels and Jibril descend in it by the permission of their Lord for every affair. Peace, it is still the break of the morning. End of Surah 97 Surah 98, the clear proof, al Bayyana, revealed at Medina, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Those who disbelieved from among the followers of the book and the polytheists could not have separated from the faithful until there had come to them the clear evidence. A messenger from Allah reciting pure pages wherein are all the right ordinances. And those who were given the book did not become divided except after clear evidence had come to them. And they were not enjoined anything except that they should serve Allah, being sincere to him in obedience, upright and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate. And that is the right religion. Surely those who disbelieve from among the followers of the book and the polytheists shall be in the fire of hell. Abiding therein, they are the worst of men. As for those who believe and do good, surely they are the best of men. Their reward with their Lord is gardens of perpetuity beneath which rivers flow, abiding therein forever. Allah is well pleased with them, and they are well pleased with him. That is for him who fears his Lord. End of Surah 98 Surah 99 The Earthquake is Zalzala revealed at Mecca, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, when the earth is shaken with her violent shaking, and the earth brings forth her burdens, and man says, what has befallen her? On that day she shall tell her news, because your Lord had inspired her. On that day men shall come forth in sundry bodies, that they may be shown their works. So he who has done an atom's weight of good shall see it, and he who has done an atom's weight of evil shall see it. End of Surah 99 Surah 100 The Chargers al Adiyat revealed at Mecca, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. I swear by the runners breathing pantingly, then those that produce fire striking, then those that make raids at morn, then thereby raise dust, then rush thereby upon an assembly. Most surely man is ungrateful to his Lord, and most surely he is a witness of that, and most surely he is tenacious in the love of wealth. Does he not then know when what is in the graves is raised, and what is in the breast is made apparent? Most surely the Lord that day shall be fully aware of them. End of Surah 100 Surahs 101-214 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 101, the Calamity, Al-Qari'ah, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, the terrible calamity. 
What is the terrible calamity? And what will make you comprehend what the terrible calamity is? The day on which men shall be as a scattered moth, and the mountains shall be as loosened wool. Then as for him whose measure of good deeds is heavy, he shall live a pleasant life. And as for him whose measure of good deeds is light, his abode shall be the abyss, and what will make you know what it is a burning fire. End of Surah 101 Surah 102 Competition at takathur Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, abundance diverts you until you come to the graves. Nay, you shall soon know. Nay, nay, you shall soon know. Nay, if you had known with a certain knowledge, you should most certainly have seen the hell. Then you shall most certainly see it with the eye of certainty. Then on that day you shall most certainly be questions about the boons. End of Surah 102 Surah 103, The Declining Day, Al-Asr, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the time most surely man is in loss, except those who believe and do good and enjoin on each other truth and enjoin on each other patience. End of Surah 103 Surah 104, The Traducer, al Humza, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, woe to every slanderer defamer, who amasses wealth and considers it a provision against mishap. He thinks that his wealth will make him immortal. Nay, he shall most certainly be hurled into the crushing disaster. And what will make you realize what the crushing disaster is? It is the fire kindled by Allah, which rises above the hearts. Surely it shall be closed over upon them in extended columns. End of Surah 104 Surah 105 The Elephant al Feel, Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, have you not considered how your Lord dealt with the possessors of the elephant? Did he not cause their war to end in confusion? and sent down to prey upon them birds in flocks, casting against them stones of baked clay, so he rendered them like straw eaten up. End of Surah 105 Surah 106 Quraysh revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, for the protection of the Quraysh, their protection during their trading caravans in the winter and the summer. So let them serve the Lord of this house, who feeds them against hunger and gives them security against fear. End of Surah 106 Surah 107 Alms Giving al Ma'un. Revealed at Mecca, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, have you considered him who calls the judgment a lie? That is the one who treats the orphan with harshness and does not urge others to feed the poor. So woe to the praying ones who are unmindful of their prayers, who do good to be seen and withhold the necessities of life. End of Surah 107
Surah 108, Abundance, al kawthar revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, surely we have given you kawthar. Therefore pray to your Lord and make a sacrifice. Surely your enemy is the one who shall be without posterity. End of Surah 108. Surah 109, the disbelievers, al-kafirun, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, say, O unbelievers, I do not serve that which you serve, nor do you serve him whom I serve, nor am I going to serve that which you serve. Nor are you going to serve him whom I serve. You shall have your religion and I shall have my religion. End of Surah 109. Surah 110, Divine Support, and nasr revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, when there comes the help of Allah and the victory, and you see men entering the religion of Allah in companies. Then celebrate the praise of your Lord and ask his forgiveness. Surely he is oft returning to mercy. End of Surah 110. Surah 111. The Flame, Al-Masad, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, Perdition overtake both hands of Abu Lahab, and he will perish. His wealth and what he earns will not avail him. He shall soon burn in fire that flames, and his wife the bearer of fuel, upon her neck a halter of strongly twisted rope. End of Surah 111 Surah 112 Sincerity, Al-Ikhlas, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, say he Allah is one. Allah is he on whom all depend. He begets not, nor is he begotten, and none is like him. End of Surah 112. Surah 113. The daybreak, al-falak, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, say I seek refuge in the Lord of the dawn, from the evil of what he has created, and from the evil of the utterly dark night when it comes, and from the evil of those who blow on knots, and from the evil of the envious when he envies. End of Surah 130 Surah 114, Mankind, El Nas, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, say I seek refuge in the Lord of men. The king of men, the god of men, from the evil of the whisperings of the slinking shaitan. Who whispers into the hearts of men, from among the jinn and the men. End of Surah 114 and end of the Holy Quran. Translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir. Thank you for listening.